Shalom, call hello in La, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Kakadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and seeing on to reflect around the world. May Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai continue to protect and guide your steps throughout these turbulent times. This is your brother and the dog coming at you with another lesson. And today's lesson is. Put all your confidence in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Once again, put all your confidence in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. That's right. Now I'm going to start off with the definition of confidence, which is a noun, assurance or belief, and the goodwill, veracity, etc. of other firmly trusting bold to have full trust our reliance to trust, to trust, confide, persuade, reliance on one's own powers, resources, or circumstances, self assurance, certainly of a proposition, of assertion, assurance with regard to a fact of secret private communication. Trustworthiness means trust holy, which is the key to the game. <laughs> That's right, you know, trusting y'all by Shem Yahweh Confidence that he's going to show up and show up. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to start off in uh, Proverbs 14 26. Fourteen twenty-six, in the fear of Yahweh is strong confidence. That's right. When you fear Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh, you got to trust in Him in order for Him to show up and show out for you. You know what I'm saying? And His children shall have a place of refuge. That's right. His children, Tamas Tamati, elect in these times. Being delivered from this, this present persecution, with these Edomites pushing on this uh, Karakmas on all our people. Okay, but the elect is not going to stand for that. We're going to get to verse 27. The fear of Yahweh is a found of life to part from the snares of death. That's right. In order to fear Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you must be obedient to his law, statutes, and commandments that he has set forth from the earth. Okay? That's how you uh, retain mercy upon Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai by fearing him. Rehearsing the righteous acts. Okay? Gonna get uh, Psalms 112. Six through eight. All right. Psalms one twelve six through eight. Surely he shall not be moved forever. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. That's right. And he's gonna always re remember his elect, especially in these times. Okay. Verse seven. He shall not be afraid of any tidings. His heart is fixed, trusting in Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Shai. That's right, it's talking about the elect. That's fearing Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, doing what's pleasing in the sight to the best of their ability. Okay. Gonna get verse 8. His heart, which is in mind, is established. He shall not be afraid till he see his desire upon his enemies. That's right. It's Tamadi Lek. Seeking the uh, discretion of Babylon the Great, especially the Israelites that's over here in America. Seeking the discretion of Babylon the Great and these Edomites. These so called white people. That's right. And that's what we're going to get uh, Proverbs 19 23. 
the fear of Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shah, tended to life, and he that had it shall be satisfied. He shall not be visited with evil. That's right. Those that fear Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, and do the, that, that's what's pleasing in his sight, and receive favor, and will not be visited with evil. That's right. So when you attain to these concentration camps, you have nothing to fear. Just call on Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. Brock the owl, brock the owl shah, brock the owl, brock the owl shah, brock the owl, brock the owl shah. Shimmer cock and dash. You know what I'm saying? You have a peace of mind. It puts you in peace of mind, we call them names. Just like I did, did this a while ago. It gave me a peace of mind, put me at ease. You know what I'm saying? How Barat is up. The spirit is dealing with you. And you call upon him and he deliver you. Okay. Uh, next I'm gonna get X. Nine and thirty one. That's nine thirty one. Then you had the churches rest throughout all Judea and Galilee and Samaria. And we're edified and it's talking about the uh the elect right here. That's uh, harking on to the words of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, the true. And words of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah that's printed out throughout the scriptures and believing on it. And walking in the fear of the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah and in the comfort of the Holy Spirit, which is the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Holy Ghost, which is the Holy Spirit, Salakia. Word multiplied. And that's right, whoever hears his word. They're going to cling on to it. And it's going to be their salvation to life everlasting. That's right. These, these are words to everlasting life. Okay. Next we're going to get Isaiah. Back to the Old Testament. Isaiah 30. And 15, 30 and 15. For thus said the Lord Yahweh, the Holy One of Israel, in return and rest shall ye be saved. And it's talking about the elect. In quietness and in confidence, having faith in Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, shall be your strength. And ye would not. And that's talking about the uh, two thirds of our people that don't believe on Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. But those elect Akim Wa Akwakim and Abayim, the children, will be delivered. The ones that believe on Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah and the prophecies that's presented throughout the scriptures. Okay. Next, we're going to get Isaiah 32. 17 and the work of righteousness shall be peace that's right the work of righteousness is talking about the righteous acts that's written in the book which is the scriptures and the effect of righteousness quietness and assurance forever that's right you, you devour yourself in the righteousness or the truth of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah that's going to assure your life forever. Immortality. Okay. And this next scripture I'm going to get is Sirach 34, Ecclesiasticus, in the Apocrypha. Come on with 34. Like you, Ecclesiasticus 34 16 and 17. Okay, for the eyes of Yahweh, of the Lord Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shah, that's talking about the chariots or the angels, are upon them, the elect Israelites throughout the earth that love him, fear him. 
He is their mighty protection and strong stay. A defense from heat. That's to my from the destruction that's coming upon the earth. Nuclear destruction. And a cover from the sun at noon. A preservation from stumbling and a help from falling. Verse 17. He raised up the soul and lightened the eyes. And give it health, life, and blessing. And that's right. It's going to give life, health, life, and blessings to the elect. That's right. And his second coming with those chariots. Who the uh, world, all these uh, hating ass Edomites call UFOs or UFO, UFO. Yeah, whatever the case may be. They know, you know, that was the chariots of Yahweh and Yahweh. And they are through. That's right. So those chariots that we see is going to bring us those immortal bodies. As long as defense upon our behalf, okay. And the last two I'm gonna get are in Second Maccabees fifteen seven and eight. All right, but Maccabees it was short confidence that means faith, trust, all that good stuff, and that. The Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh will help him. That's right. He was staying on the ass of old. That Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah showed upon him. Upon our enemies. As long as we had obedience and we uh, 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 walked in his words. That's all he wants to do is to be obedient. That's it. Verse 8. Second Matthew 15 and 8. Wherefore he exhorted his people. That's talking about the elect in these times, not to fear the coming of the heathen, which is these uh, Edomites, the main chief uh, house of Esau, which are the Amalekites, against them, but to remember the help which in former times they received from heaven. That's right, from the, from the chariots, from uh, uh, putting different spirits on different men, spiritual powers. You know what I'm saying? And not to expect the victory and a which should come unto them from the Almighty, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shah. That's right. And we got to come through those names, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. We're going to be saved in these times. The majority of our people, they're, they're not going to uh, come back and uh, worship their true power. They have to come back in their right frame of mind in the uh, kingdom to come. New Jerusalem. All right, I'm going to read 9 and 10. And so comforting them, talking about Nehemiah, out of the law and the prophets. That's talking about the, uh, the elect prophets. That's out on the street corners. That's, the that's teaching the uh, true wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures. And we're all putting them in mind of the battles they won aforetime. That's talking about putting in remembrance of, of acts of old throughout the scriptures. He made them more cheerful. Verse 10. And when he stirred up their minds, he gave them charge, showing them withal that like the falsehood of the heathen. This to my uh, uh, number one uh, enemy, which is he eating my so called white people, along with the other heathen nations. And the breach of oaths. That's right. And all the uh, laws that they put forth towards our people to further oppress us. We we thought upon those and knowing that Yahweh Yahweh is gonna correct this in his due time. Okay, that's gonna end this lesson. I mean I'm, I'm saying Shalom Quam Rasharala and a Baba Bob.